The likes of the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy are now household names among smartphone users, and with the exception of a few lesser known brands, and maybe the Google Pixel, it's basically a duopoly run by these two models. But now there's a new kid on the block, powered by its own OS and backed by some of the biggest names in tech, streaming and social media. So what's different about the new Nothing phone? How much does it cost? And what do those flashing lights on the back really do? Here's how it happened. Every brand seems to have its own USP. For Apple, it's a closed system with a focus on everyday usability. For Google, there's seamless integration with your emails, web browser and documents. And for nothing, it's a totally unique design that brings a clear glass back with an unusual array of flashing LED lights. So where did the distinctive design come from? The answer is Carl Pei, an entrepreneur who achieved success as the co-founder of OnePlus, a Chinese consumer tech brand known for offering outstanding features at a reasonable price and whose first device sold over a million units against a sales target of just 50,000. After launching the Nothing brand in 2020, their first product was the Nothing Ear One less than a year later, a wireless pair of earbuds that offered noise cancellation and customization features, and of course a familiar transparent design. Ear One received average to strong reviews upon release, and with a powerful team of investors including YouTuber Casey Neistat, Twitch co-founder Kevin Lin, and iPod inventor Tony Fidel, Nothing was ready to take Take on the mobile world. Following a $70 million funding round and plenty of spins of the rumor mill, the Nothing Phone 1 was unveiled at the Art Basel show in Switzerland in June of this year. As you'd expect, the device turned a few heads, boasting a gorilla glass case with exposed screws, impressive memory options, and an OLED touchscreen with refresh rates fast enough to handle even the most demanding mobile games. Easily one of the phone's most eye-catching features is the Glyph interface, a series of diodes on the back that function as a fill light when shooting video and bear more of a resemblance to an x-ray than a conventional smartphone. But these rear LEDs aren't just for show, as the lower exclamation point can indicate charging and battery status, while other lights can flash depending on whether you've received a text or a phone call. The phone comes in both a light and dark version, offers its very own Nothing OS, which is basically your standard Android interface with a few extra widgets, as well as a pair of 50 megapixel cameras on the phone's rear. At a starting price of 390 £99 or 34,000 rupees, Phone One is positioned as a mid-range smartphone but with technical specs as strong as many of its more expensive rivals. You might notice that there's no price available in US dollars, and founder Pay has revealed that there are not yet any plans to offer the handset on North American carriers, although interestingly it does integrate with Tesla electric cars and they intend to roll out a whole host of new software features in the future. Reviews for the phone have been generally positive, mostly 3 and 4 stars out of 5, and it's understandable why GQ magazine called Nothing the most hyped tech company in years. But before you get too excited, you should know that the phone only comes with an IP53 waterproof rating, meaning it can't be dunked and only just qualifies as water resistant. Not to mention there's no headphone jack and the cool functionality of the rear LEDs work best when your phone is face down. Maybe not ideal for regular phone checkers. So the Nothing Phone 1 isn't quite as revolutionary as first hoped, but it could pave the way for more challenger brands to stake their claim as the next big name in portable tech. Alongside the global microchip shortage, it's a rough time to launch a brand new product to the market, but we'll definitely be waiting to see what comes next from their London HQ. That's how it happened, and thanks for watching.